I'm not worried about Islamic suicide bombers. They can only do it once. A Hindu suicide bomber, that is more of a threat. <laughs> because of the reincarnation. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be easy with women, man. You gotta, you know, because black people, you know, we got game naturally. Brothers, we know how to talk to them. You know, we know how to just say that shit. Sometimes them African dudes, they don't know what to say. They just so angry. What's, what do you call yourself? What is your name? You talk to me. You see I'm talking to you in the front row. You don't want to talk to me. Fuck you. Get up. And you'll ask me later. I think that's some cool shit to ask. I tell you what ain't sexy is that Indian shit. I'm sorry, Danny, Indian people. You know the motherfuckers at 7-Eleven? That is not sexy shit. I don't give a fuck. Ladies, you do not want that on top of you on a Saturday night. I'm going to give it to you. I know you want it, you dirty bitch. I know you want it. I'm going to give you my Pakistani beef, you mother bucket. Say my name, say Punjab. It's just, it's not. God damn, handsome ass Indian, look at you. Are you Indian or Pakistani? Indian, yeah. Relax, there's fucking <laughs> two billion of you. You don't have to get that. Except... <laughs> Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, what are you? No shit, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm saying, what's the background? Why y'all take so long for this shit? <laughs> from, Bombay. from Bombay. And what, you just naming more shit that you know doesn't. <laughs> what's their religious background? They're not religious either? What about their parents? You don't know them? You know, you're, you know I know you're lying, right? You know, you know I know you're lying right now. None of us ever met a non-religious Indian parent in our life. None of us ever met a non-religious Indian parent? Indian parent non-religious? Uh-uh. That's what he got to say, because his girl ain't Indian. That's why. <laughs> they weren't feeling that shit, were they? What's your back? You're Asian, right, miss? What type of Asian? You're Taiwanese? That's a good one. No, that's a good one. That's like China 2.0, <laughs> right? Because Taiwanese, right? I'm getting that right. Yeah. Taiwanese were like, fuck it, we out. <laughs> and then they were like, Japan's too far. Let's just stop right here. This island, no, nah, this island's good. We're not going all the way. <laughs> you're, like, you're like those Indians that made it to like Trinidad. You know, the Indians are like, we're going to America. And then the first island, they're like, fuck it, pull over, pull over. This is far enough. I'm ready. <laughs> they were so close, bro. <laughs> now they out there in the Caribbean thunderclapping. <laughs> <laughs> they went from... To... <laughs> What about you, other Indian? I don't even know if you're Indian. I assume you're Indian. All right, what type of Indian? I am Punjabi. Punjabi? Are you sick? Yeah, I'm sick. You're sick, that's what's up, man. <laughs> Fuck with six, man. Those are the dudes that wear the turban and shit. And they got that bracelet, that little silver bracelet. That's a badass bracelet. No, for real, because back in the day, that used to be a sheath that would protect them from swords because the six were the warrior class of people in India. And then over the years, you know, the meaning has changed. Now it's used to rest on the steering wheel of an Uber, but. <laughs> Son, if they got that bracelet locked on that steering wheel and all, they ain't never crashing, dude. Never crashing. You let Vishnu take the wheel, dog. <laughs> now that's Hindu, ain't it? That's Hindu. Did I get that right at least? I got that one. You got that one? Perfect. Were your parents okay with you dating a black guy? 
they were surprisingly okay with it? Man, your sister must be a doctor. You got a younger brother. And he's doing everything right. I love fucking, that's what's up. That's that brown parents shit. Brown parents don't give a fuck about the daughter, bro. Daughter is meaningless, yo. It's just taking up food that the son could be eating. Bitter, bitter, don't eat all the chicken. Your brother needs some chicken, bitter. Bitter, bitter, please, bitter, please. He's a growing boy. He needs it for his brain. You clearly don't need it because you're taking black guys. Look at all these Indian faces, Jesus Christ. Look at you brown bastards, god damn. Indians just look upset that they had to spend money to be here tonight, don't you? <laughs> That's the look on their face, just... This is bullshit. I don't know why I'm spending money to see someone that looks just like me. I can stay home and look in the mirror <laughs> for free. We are an endless supply of cheap jokes. And you know what the best thing about it is? Indian people, we're proud of our cheapness. That's the, you're never going to insult us by calling us cheap. That's the best part, you know. You walk up to an Indian, you guys are cheap. Thank you for noticing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That guy just called you cheap. No, no, no. He pronounced it cheap, but what he was saying was smart. <laughs> Very smart, he was saying. <laughs> We're cheap. We're, you know, here's the thing, too. It's not like I'm up here going, you Indian people are cheap, and I'm the one that's not. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just as fucking cheap as you. The difference is now I have money. I'm just cheap in better stores. <laughs> I'll be looking at like an Armani shirt. I hate when this happens. I'm looking at a shirt from like a high-end designer and I flip the tag over and I see made in India. I'm stuck with a real dilemma. I'm like, shit, do I buy this? Or do I call my uncle? <laughs> I wonder if he knows where this factory is. Performing, where I, I don't it, English isn't the first language by a stretch. What are some of the places around the world now that you've been to in the last year? Uh, I've been everywhere from like Helsinki, Finland to uh, Mumbai, India. It well, was uh, yeah. And so, an idiot thinks, oh, so all the tourists that are in town in Mumbai. You're you know like what's funny? It's the joke I forgot to do when I wanted because th all those they're all fucking telemarketers. Half of them over there talking <laughs> to us. And it's the joke I forgot to do because it was the last stop on the tour. I wanted to say I was going to open with that. Like you know, I probably talked to half of you fuckers already. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I know your name isn't Cliff. <laughs> you know, but you I got I got to tell you, man, that I had so much fun in India. How? Describe, please. Because they, they're fucking hilarious people. They're ball breakers, and they're just like... I called this podcast, and stand-up is new over there. Like, they're in, like, their Lenny Bruce years. Like, people get in trouble and shit. So I called in this podcast. I was, like, in Australia, and I called this podcast to hype the show, and the, the guys were all comedians, and they, they were going like, yeah, when you come here, you should talk about this. You should talk about politics. And, I'm, I'm able, and they just kept going down that road. Then I'm like, wait a minute, do you guys talk about this shit? And they start laughing. And I go, you guys are going to get me fucking arrested. And they died laughing like they were just setting me up. Like, it's not like you would literally get arrested. But it's like, you could get in trouble. Or like, it's a, you'd, you'd have to basically, like, Singapore I was worried about because I was like, you know, that kid got caned all those years ago. And, and I was sitting there, <laughs> sitting there worrying about that. And they don't want you to talk about a religion. They don't want you to talk about all this shit. But, like, if you just come there right. and you just do your spot and then leave, that's not going to happen. But if you, if you set up shop there and every week, 
they'd have to be getting complaint after complaint after complaint after complaint. And then finally, it's like a jerk off job. Some guy finally comes down there. It's like, hey, can you knock it off? Can you just stop it so we don't have to beat the shit out of you? And you're like, all right, all right. So it's, it's, not, it's not as bad.